Yep. Yeah. Yep. Landmark. Oh gosh. Landmark. We're now into the only double digit countdown of how many hours there are to go. Um, Woo! Just a reminder, for today, like all of our performances, is a relaxed one. That means that we will have kind of general house lights up during the show. There is a bit of a glitch currently with the hotel lighting system. If they go dark, please always just put the lamp. We'll never go to blackout, and I will get them back up and running within ten seconds. Um, there will also be no loud clicking noises. Um, and uh, there's a relax button for sound and music from the audience for the benefit of people who have struggled to be sitting in silence for an hour. Uh, also, if you need to check out and come back in, you're more than welcome to do so uh, at any point during the hour. Uh, this is Tommy, who is our Dina Ferry character for this hour as well. Um, if you needed something like a hearing aid poster that you needed to sing to, uh, I'd be the person to come to, and Chloe, obviously, is up there, giving you loads if you need something. Uh, in the meantime, though, I will leave you with our GM for this hour, Reese. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Reese Lord and I am the games master for this hour and all the way up till 10 o'clock. What is this? What are we doing? We are playing a tabletop role playing game. What that means is these wonderful, wonderful individuals around me play their own individual unique characters with their own special sets of abilities and skills and their own personality. I, as the games master, control the rest of the world. I control their allies, the monsters they fight, the seas they sail upon and the islands they explore. We have over 150 hours of backstory, so let me catch you up. <laughs> um, very briefly, how this ho whole thing started is these wonderful people are crew members upon a ship known as the Spirit of the Horizon, a scientific research vessel that was sent on a mission to investigate an island that seemingly appeared overnight. Whilst investigating the island, they awakened a great old god and in a last ditch attempt to escape, they read a tablet on which a spell which they didn't fully understand, which thrust them into a new reality with new species, islands, creatures and lands to explore. We have our crew members trying to find their way home. To pick up, they have made it to the Katafu main <coughs> island. Katafu are these troll-like individuals who stand around seven foot tall with grotesque faces and thick hides. To gain a favor, they cleared out their temple in a last ditch attempt to repair their ship after it was ripped apart by an old snake-like god. And this is where we pick up. It has been a few days since the temple has been cleared and the general feeling on the island is one of joy. They have their temple back and the people are rejoicing. A courier approaches the shipyard where the Spirit of the Horizon is currently docked and being repaired. He very quickly hands a letter to the captain who reads it and very quickly gathers our adventurers as they have been requested to attend a council meeting. Now listen. I want you to go to this council meeting, hear what they have to say, and be on your best behavior, wiggle bottom. This is the opportunity I'm gonna give the players a chance to introduce themselves, starting with my far right. Tell us your name, your character's name, and what they do on the ship. Hi, I'm Grant. My character's name is Garrison Thief, and I am the helmsman aboard the Spirit of the Horizon, and I am a halfling rogue. My name is James. My character's name is Jeffrey Wigglebottom, a human sorcerer who is the head of the research department's assistant um, and notorious legend. My name's Johnny. I'm playing Alistair Von de Comte. He is a dwarven bard who is thoroughly undwarfy. He likes gold, he likes women, and he likes telling stories. My name's Isabel. My character is called Gillian. She got on the wrong, wrong boat at the start of the journey and, uh, <laughs> and has just enjoyed the ride ever since. Excellent. Can't forget Chloe. We pick up and the day is slightly cloudy and overclass. You have specks of blue sky. As you make your way through the town, you see individuals as you pass who give you wide smiles. They know the crew of the Spirit of the Horizon. You're strange in this land. You don't look like anything they've ever seen before, but they know that you helped and you are welcomed. 
As you make your way towards the council chambers, you enter and there is a commotion. The air is full of excitement. There are people having general discussions here and there. And at the far side, you do see the leader of these people, Mongoa. You know him to own the docks and repair the ships, and he gestures for you to approach. Ah, crew members of the Spirit of the Horizon, it's good to see you. Please, follow me to my chambers. Not in that way, gosh. <laughs> He's a tall Katafu man with a large muscular structure, long black hair pulled back into a tight, tight ponytail. He leads you through this door and you end up in this large council chamberman's office. There is a simple desk on the far side and there are two other people in the room. What would the party like to do? When you say people... Katafu. Um, we don't know, don't recognise them. You do, actually. Ah, oh, lovely. Um, one is, um, Alana, the head of the temple. She stands there quite solemnly, smiling as you approach. And the other, I'm not sure if you've been introduced to them yet, but you have seen them around. They were at the initiation ceremony, which the crew witnessed, where the Katafu enter the water during a storm. And the ceremony is deeply spiritual and connected to their god, who is Kataruba, who is a god of the tempest. If the initiates pass the ceremony, they are known as um, returners. Hang on, sorry. Yes, returned. They are known as the returned and are held in high regard after passing the initiation. Please, come in. Take a seat. All right. I take a seat. As do I. Me too. And me. <laughs> yes! <laughs> do we get XP for that one? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are now excellent sitters. Um, I owe you and your crew a great thanks. The temple is ours again, and as we begin to rebuild... Our people are happy for the first time in a long time. But I'm, I'm calling you here because, well, we have one last favor to ask of you. It's at this point that Elowen steps forward. No, sorry, not Elowen. Alana. Alana. Elowen's the name of a queen that is somewhere else in the world. Ah. Alana steps forward. Yes, um, ten years ago, my predecessor, Jack, he seemingly disappeared. A few nights after his son took the initiation and did not return, he vanished without a trace. And ever since the initiation, the initiates, We've only ever had one returner. At which point you hear a low grumble from the other Katafu in the room. <sighs> yes, well, if possible, we would ask that you investigate. Find out what is going on. If he is linked to this, then we need to find out a way to stop it. Where would be a good place to start looking? Well, just off the coast there is a small island covered in mainly swamp land. It's, the reason we don't inhabit it is because, well, it's frankly impossible to build upon. At this point, the cat of whose remains silent so far introduces themselves. I am Hishan. I am the only one who has ever returned in recent years. If you need a guide, 
or someone to show you the way I can do so, but that is all you will ask of me. I will not stay on that island. After what I saw, I never wish to go back. Can I persuade him to stay? How do you persuade them? With a song! <laughs> no, no, we won't back <laughs> Um, I persuade him by trying to convince him to face his fears. Okay. Okay. Oh dear. <laughs> what did you roll? An eight. <laughs> <sighs> There's a deep groan come from this individual who you now recognise as actually a female catafu. Oh, my apologies, sir. <laughs> Sean looks at you and stares you down. It's just like, after the things I have seen, after the things I witnessed upon that place, I will show you the way, and that is it. What things did you see? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> the beach is littered with our dead. Every initiate who has taken the trial in years past litters the beach sound overly safe. What else did you see there? <sighs> Due to the sheer amount of death, it has attracted creatures of chaos. I have barely escaped with my life. Like what? These things, I didn't get a look at their true form, but they seem to shift their appearance to whatever it is they're fighting. Of course, if you uncover what it is we're asking you to look for and see if you can put a finish to this, we can offer you a reward. Such as? Gold, a discount on your ship repair. Well, to be fair, probably gold. We already owe you enough. The ship is on us. I like gold. We'll take the job. How much gold? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> what if it's just like one? <laughs> what else? Well, one more than we had. <laughs> I currently have nothing in my equipment list, so mm -hmm. I'll take one. Can we have at least one each? You will most definitely have at least enough for one each. Okay, that's fine. I'm happy. Good. Well, that'd be so uh, do you shake hands over here? Comes in and gives you a full. Oh. Oh, uh, that's gr that's graspy. Very graspy. Well done. And sweaty as well. <laughs> Man, it's the lights. <laughs> it happens to everyone, don't worry. Uh, Come on then, Hishan, if I pronounce that right. Have a chance to rest. I will meet you at the docks in the morning. Going to have a nice I can actually recommend a good tavern. Oh, yes. Yes. Something with cocktails. Something that's free because we currently have no gold. <laughs> <laughs> there is a small inn by the docks. It's called the, uh, the Broken Mast, but it's a good atmosphere. They'll welcome you. Do this. Let's go. Da, 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 da. Stop that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you make your way back through the town. Is there anything in particular anyone's looking for as they make their way through the town? Now, when you say they're like troll like creatures, they are troll like individuals. They have these rather gruesome faces. Yeah, that's what but I was worried about. They are incredibly friendly towards you. You've earned their respect and their trust. So there's none that would that I would kind of describe as being attractive. <laughs> Make a perception check. <laughs> Let's go to the broken mass for a few hours first, and then oh, never mind. Um, <laughs> seven. Not without your beer goggles on, probably not. Can you persuade him to do it anyway? <laughs> <laughs> not with your charisma. <laughs> Maybe. Cool. Let's get. Have a nice, quiet, relaxing drink. Sounds good. <laughs> After a short while, you make your way back to the docks and you see 
the spirit of the horizon, well, the skeleton of it at least. <coughs> it is in a state of repair at the moment. The bottom deck is almost finished and they are making their way on starting the second deck, but all you really see are essentially the ribs of this ship and the mast standing easily 80 foot in the air. It's going to take a while before it is repaired. <laughs> Single tear rolls down my face. <laughs> Make a performance check. Seventeen. Oh gosh. Plus, uh, uh, 20, uh, Twenty-nine. You look over at this dwarven bard, and he seems truly, truly upset to see the spirit of the horizon, your home, in such a state of disrepair. I hold Jillian's hand. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> do you accept the hand holding Jillian? I do. Get a room. Jillian, <laughs> Jillian, how do you feel after seeing your accidental home in such a state of, well, brokenness? Um, I feel bemused. Bemused. After finding yourself on the spirit accidentally and just kind of rolling with it, have you made any friends on the ship in your time here? Um, yes, I'm friends with... Um, Alistair. 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 <laughs> Von de Kopf. Von de Kopf. Yeah, him. Yeah, he's great. Okay. As you make your way along the dock, you do see a fairly well-sized inn. Uh, you see their sign, and it is quite clearly a broken ship on a rock with a mast that is snapped in half. You hear inside the sounds of... Music and revelry. Oh! Wow! Took a moment, but then the door opened. <laughs> Do you enter? Of course! You enter and you see multiple captains all enjoying drink and food. You also see other crew members there trying to find a moment of joy in this world, which so far has been rather cruel to them. You see people playing games, whether it be drinking games, card games, dice, dominoes. There is a band playing in the corner. What would the party like to do? I think um, me and Garrison want to have a break dancing competition. Dance off. A dance off? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly what I mean. Against Kathy? There, just you, 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 me, you. Yeah, yeah, no, just you versus me. I think, and then everyone can get involved. Okay, so you can yeah, absolutely judge. judge. Okay, so you make your way into this dance floor area, and you begin to posture and gesture towards each other, clearing out of the way. Alistair, as you approach with your Karina, this large Katafu woman who's currently playing some form of fiddle gestures for you to come on stage. Can I, I get a performance check? Straight away. Uh, 24. 24. Without a moment of hesitation, you pick up the beat incredibly quickly, find the correct key, and going along with the fiddle, you melodically match it. Gentlemen, are you having a break dancing competition? Yes. Excellent. Can I get performance checks from both of you? going down, downtown. Ah, in this situation, I would actually say instead of using your charisma, you'd be using your dexterity. Really? Yep. The performance is, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I probably would do it more as, as a performance to entertain others rather than to win. Okay, oh, no, definitely moves. He'd be definitely he, he would probably be using uh, okay. his dexterous skills to do some flips. And all right, so magic. describe your dance to me, first of all. Um, I'm going to try and do kind of like get the crowd on my side with a, mm. with a few of the old classic kind of way, kind of that. Mm. Uh, and then I'll kind of try and do a kind of a spinny thing and then kind of land like that and wink at a crew member, female lady, uh, who I assume <laughs> I'm trying to win over with my, um, my, my dance moves. Of course. Make um, a performance check. I will allow you to use your charisma for this one. Hiya! Never mind. Um, <laughs> that was a 40. A 40. You begin to gyrate and move, and you gyrate. do pick up a small... People are clapping along, and you get the odd jeer. 
Um, you spin. But as you finish spinning, you're actually facing away from everyone else. In that case, I'll point at my bottom. <laughs> Try and make it look like I meant to do it. Of course. Garrison, describe your dance moves for us. I begin by doing several backflips to where I get to the edge of the room and then cartwheel into the middle, spin on my head several times, and then land on my back and do the opposite work. The opposite? Oh. Do it. Man, that's hard on the spine. Um, make, the way you describe it, make an acrobatics check. Oh, he's a skill oh, in that. Oh, that's the best one, mate. You've got plus 11 on that. You should roll a three. And no matter. 22. 22? Just 22. <laughs> I'm amazed. <laughs> Average. Without stream. a moment of hesitation, you leap into the action, <laughs> clearing the room with multiple, multiple backflips and somersaults. You land on your back and begin to do the worm. Everyone in the crowd is clapping along, cheering. Who would you say is the winner? He even got his name right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I high five him anyway because we, we we do it just to the to the crowd, not for him. Then I'll get him a beer. Did we not get a round of free drinks for entertaining the room. Once we have no gold. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> I put my head out. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are oddly generous. <laughs> you get about. 15, 20 gold pieces just thrown in the hat. You also get a couple of like bottle caps and corks thrown in there as well. You approach the bar and the barman looks at you, Garrison. You know what, mate? I like your moves. Free drinks the rest of the night just for you, though. <laughs> okay, so the revelry continues for the rest of the night. How much are people drinking? I am going to buy myself a billion drinks. Oh, oh. Pop my gold. <laughs> so I'm the only one with no beer. <laughs> <laughs> I pass you one minute, it's all right. Cheers, thank you. Um, uh, depending on how successful I am at carousing with some female women, um, I will drink either a lot if I fail, uh, not much if I'm succeeding. You see, you see a group of deckhands over in the corner drinking away. Um, <laughs> they're... You've seen them around the ship before, but I don't know if you would have ever talked to them. To be fair, I feel like Wigglebottom has talked to every available female on the ship e at this point. I, I think he, he thinks everyone loves him, but it probably isn't the case. Okay, so you see these group of four individuals in the corner. There are two males and two females. The male is a half orc, and the other male is a human. The females, one is a tiefling, and the other is a half orc. I'm not racist, not after the last song I did from a ship to cure racism. You missed the first step, guys. Um, can I roll persuasion or deception? <laughs> yeah. But look, what's, that's normally how it happens, right? Yeah. Hey, man, consent is important. Yeah. We're dealing with issues, guys. <laughs> okay, so you approach these individuals. You see... Make an insight check to read the group. <laughs> this is not the dice is not my friend today. Five. They all appear rather cheerful. <laughs> well, cheerful people love Jeffrey. I'll get, I'll get involved with the chat. Okay. What do you want to talk about? How are you going to woo these individuals? I don't want to woo all of them. <laughs> Just to clarify, but I. I I'm, you know, I'm, if it comes quite right, I will talk to the half orc first because he's probably more likely to um, hit me in the face. Uh, but I'll, I probably will say something um, kind of quite cool and be like, "What up, homies?" or like, like or whatever, you know, that kind of thing, and just kind of see um, if they've heard about my, if they've heard about my, my rap skills. Oh, um, you're the one that did the song with Keith, right? <laughs> Jeffrey and Keith, you probably heard of the band. Oh, yeah, you were right. Well, I mean, he was better, but you were well, right. Well, you know, he's, the, he's the, the, the kind of the looks, and I'm the kind of talent, I'd say. Okay, so you continue this conversation back and forth, joking, 
having a couple of laughs, make a persuasion check. Boo, Yakash at 25. I mean, <laughs> the girls aren't interested in you, but someone is. You've grained the attraction of a young Katafu woman who's been listening into the group, hearing stories about your brave tales, have you fought off monsters and all other individuals. She introduces herself. I'm gonna leave you off there. Okay. What are the rest of the group doing during this time? Um, there. Alistair is trying everything he can to woo Gillian. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're the only other female. <laughs> Oh, knows, right. so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that makes them feel he special. Didn't say that out loud. You're literally the only woman that are available to me. <laughs> that isn't I love role. you. <laughs> um, he is going to. Oh, I'm going to be inspired by my friend who, whose mood was always going to take him outside. I'm going to give him my jacket. Look at the stars. And say, oh, star bright, star bright. Look at that star, it's really bright. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bard, aren't you? <laughs> How do you respond to this? Um, it's okay to be very awkward. <laughs> I've actually drank a lot of the Catapult wine and yep. uh, gone temporarily blind, so you cannot see the stars. <laughs> <laughs> that boy's well for the rest of your night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're in here, mate. <laughs> I can't wait for them to talk about <laughs> what they're going to do and see the sign language for it. This <laughs> 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 is great! So, Jill Gillian, I uh, haven't seen much of you on the ship lately. Is everything okay? I have been, um, I've been pining for my, for my homeland. <laughs> you have a way with words. <laughs> <laughs> just want to get this on film, just in case. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah. This was the last anyone saw of Chilean. <laughs> no! <laughs> so, uh. Do you. What are you doing tonight? <laughs> um, oh, I was just going to go back to my. My cabin, oh, that's cool, um, that's cool, don't worry. And uh, wash my hair. Oh, yeah. But oh. I can't because I'm temporarily blind, so uh, <laughs> do you want to help me? Make hey! <laughs> <laughs> You're temporarily blind. I need you to be my eyes, dude. Oh, Not hands. I'll be more than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What have I started? Maybe there's a spell I can cast to help you. Do you have prestigitation? Nope. I do! <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're I'll not there! I'll be right back. You will be. <laughs> Jeffrey. Yeah. I'm just chatting at this Katafu woman at the moment. Yeah, just, just a minute. Yeah. <laughs> While he's abandoned you, what are you doing? Um, I'm assessing the decisions that I've made up to this point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> and not, not a single decision happy about them. <laughs> Make a quick constitution saving throw for me. As, yeah, yeah, roll your d20. Roll 12. 12 plus your constitution saving throw. One, is that? Yeah, plus one. Yeah, plus, plus one. one. The night air is beginning to get to you a little bit. You've had quite a fair, fair few wines, but you are beginning to sober up. You get the salt air hitting your nose, and you do feel a little bit sick for a second, but you hold it back. You're no longer blind. <laughs> what would you like to do? You look around, and there are multiple braziers lit upon the deck. You look out and see the spirit. You also see the temporary accommodation that's been put up for the crew. Um, I would like to go back in, mm. order a soft drink, and be um, Jeffrey's wingman. Of course, yeah. Um, you go back in and you see Alistair and Jeffrey discussing. I really think I'm uh, pulling this off, Jeffrey. I think. Uh, oh, Gillian, I didn't see you there. Pulling what off? What are you pulling off? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I'm what really she's confused. talking about. <laughs> Which girl was it you were talking to? Just this woman outside, stranger. Don't know her. 
But Jillian, is it, Jillian, you were outside. Have Be you seen... cool, man. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> During this whole time, Garrison, what have you been doing? Bye. Bar. <laughs> um, seeing as you're a halfling, <laughs> you get drunk quite quickly. Yes. Uh, yes, I do. Seeing as the Kadafu mix their drinks strong. Um, can I get a constitution saving throw from you, seeing as you've been drinking all night? <laughs> Despite the amount you've drunk, you down your drink and feel great. Like you could take on the world. It's back flipping out of there. <laughs> Alright. What are you guys discussing at this point? That's the Katafu woman. Yes, the Katafu woman. Looking back and forth rather confused. Every time you see her look over towards Wigglebottom, she, her pupils dilate. There's a wide smile upon her face. I, do I recognise that she's in here? Make an insight check. Ooh. Uh, nine. <laughs> oh. Do I recognise she's into me? Oh no 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. I mean, she seems fairly enamoured. Jeffrey's a sorcerer, you know. I've got this, don't worry. I don't think she's into me. <laughs> really? <laughs> I rolled a natural one. <laughs> You're oblivious to this girl. Yeah. She's a nice girl. Um, uh, in that case, as I see, I'm, I'm not getting anywhere with any woman ever. I'll probably have a bit to drink. Okay. You go off towards the bar and she follows you like, like a shadow. Orders all your drinks for you and pays for them. Sweet. Made a, fr- made a new friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I got such high You have your soft drink. You see Jeffrey at the bar. You see Alistair wandering around. You also see Garrison, who's drunk as a skunk. Like, he's... But he's he's positive that he's fine. (laughs) He's able to stand, just, but is still attempting to be friendly to everyone, still drinking. What would you like to do? Walk into the sea. Thank you. Do you know a lot about sailing? <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow morning. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we're gonna. You need to put your, your foot in to see if it's gonna be good seas tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, cool. <laughs> Make a persuasion check. D twenty and add your persuasion modifier. Two. Make an insight check at disadvantage. <laughs> as your partially drunk state is not the best judge of character right now. I fall it again. Nice! <laughs> what did you roll? 19. 19. Uh, you have to hit the smallest one. Um, so 16. 16. 16. Plus, uh, plus one. You... You hear what she's saying to you, but that means getting in the water, which you know to be cold, what would you like to do? I'd like to persuade her to come with me. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Why is everyone trying to do stuff with Jillian? <laughs> Just because she's the only woman we know. <laughs> okay, so. The night continues on. Make your persuasion check. Never mind. You can barely make out what he's saying. It's drunken slurs. And at this point, make a constitution saving throw for me. (laughs) He falls flat on his face in front of you, passed out. What would you like to do with that information? Well, it's probably rolling around to about midnight one in the morning. Right. Um, The bar will probably be closing soon. Right. Um, You do see that people are beginning to make their way home. Um, Can I suggest that we go and get a kebab? (laughs) (laughs) One moment. 
What's a kebab? There's this large Katafu individual who's standing by the bar. Who's been listening to your conversation with the others. What's a kebab? Um, a kebab, there are different types um, involving sliced meat and bread. Sliced, well, we're good at sliced meat and bread. I don't know if we, we don't call it a kebab. Saskala. It's delicious. There's a really good place next door. It's open till like three in the morning. <laughs> Saskala Cottage, is it called? <laughs> Saskala Inn, thank you very much. Fair play. Late night grub sounds good to me. Can we get some Saskala? Yeah, oh, let's get some Saskala. Garrison? This garrison is <laughs> spread eagled on the floor. <laughs> Passed out drunk. How strong are you? Not very. Um, He's only a halfling. He's fine. Shall we just leave him? No! He'll be alright. No, I'm not leaving him. Just Please take, take him out of my bar. Oh, <laughs> come on. Oh, um, I'll, talk, I'll ask my um, my new friend, my Katafu friend. Yes? Y- you seem quite, quite strong. <laughs> you want me to lift Is it alright to help carry him? Of course, where do you want me to lift him to? I've got to actually stay in my bugs now, so do you want to just carry him back to my place? If we're going back to your place, of course. Yeah, cool. Fantastic. <laughs> no problem at all. She lifts the halfling up over her shoulders. You are gone. <laughs> you leave the inn, and next door you smell spice and meat and bread being baked. You go inside and there are multiple drunk individuals who are stumbling around, ordering food. Um, they appear to be, some of them, pouring this thick green sauce on it and then just scoffing it down in one. Alright, who's up next? Ooh, that'll be me, 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 me. Um, can, I, can I have a, a, a sass please? Of course. What do you like? Chicken or beef? Um, beef. Beef. All right. Goes back for a second. You see this just mash of meat on a stick turning over a fire. (laughs) That looks normal. (laughs) You get this small wooden bowl and just begin to carve the meat into it. And then they just throw a piece of bread on top and hand it to you. There you go. That'll be one gold, please. Well, there you go. Thank you very much. I'm quite nice. Come out. <laughs> you have gold left. <laughs> he had a hat, didn't he? Only 15. Saskal is on me. <laughs> How many servings? I'm good. I'm, I'm going to take this idiot back. Well, I, 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 my friend's going to. Oh, does your friend want one? Um, fine, thank you. Jilly? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. On for the lady. Of course. I'm very jealous. Chicken or beef? <laughs> A beef, please. Of course. <laughs> we have so much of <laughs> <laughs> No problem. So where are you staying? You... <laughs> you make your way back to the temporary accommodation that's been set up for you at the dockside by the Spirit of the Horizon. You make it back to your dorm, which you're thankfully sharing with Garrison. Where would you like him? Just put him on the bed. Okay. Good. So. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. No problem. Cool. Not gonna offer me anything to drink. Well, I'll see what I've got. I don't know. Um, so I'll we'll see how drunk I am at this point. Yes, make a Constitution saving throw. Ten. <laughs> You're pretty drunk. Yeah, I'll have sex with him. <laughs> <laughs> you engage in lovemaking with this kind of food. With Garrison and several other individuals in the room. They're not alone. Make a performance check at disadvantage. 
Oh, right. <laughs> ah, so yeah. 20 then as well. And, okay. That's not bad. Performance, um, 18. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> oh, when I give people opportunities to do things, I really regret it. Um, <laughs> do it to me as well. Yeah. It's every time. <laughs> the night goes on. We'll come back to that. <laughs> I, I hope what not. are you two doing? Um, we're we eating our kebab. Yeah. Oh. Outside the shop, the sea in front of you, the stars above with small clouds, the moonlight there, multiple drunken revelers passing by. <sighs> it's beautiful, isn't it, Jenny? <laughs> yeah, yes, I do, Gillian. <laughs> you, if you've had any conversations with another crew member that goes by the name of Brother Jürgen, you would most definitely have some weed on you. I have, and I do. Awesome. <laughs> this is going to be one hell of a night, Gillian. You have no idea. <laughs> For the sake of prosperity, can I get two constitution saving throws from you both at disadvantage as you partake in the reefer? This is a really weird hour of D&D, &D, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I don't know how this has happened. Oh. Yeah, can't you it? 11. Um, oh, at disadvantage. So that means we roll oh. twice. You roll twice and take the lower number. The rest of the night is a blur. As the saying goes, beer before weed, not a good idea. That's not what they say. That's not the <laughs> say at all. I'm young and innocent, okay? I heard that there are things that people say and I don't actually know them. I'll show you, I'll show you later. Okay, so the rest of the night is the blur, but in the morning you do find yourself back in your beds Splitting headaches, the smell of last night on your clothes. Do I look good? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that. <laughs> you two have woken up. The young lady you spent the night with has disappeared. I didn't even know her name. I'll be honest, she never told me her name. So let's imagine you I've probably forgot it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> How much do I remember? Just roll a d20 for me and tell me what you roll. 16. You remember pretty much everything up to the point where you got home. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> um, I, t I turned to Cam and go, you know, it feels really weird. Did we... Did we... Had, this is nervous fire, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> you awaken... You hear the chirp of birds outside, the sun beating through the windows. You're all feeling particularly delicate. What would the party like to do? I guess we better start this really important investigation. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let's go to the boats. I'm sure being on the sea will help. Yes. <laughs> you leave your individual homes, look out across the dock, and you see just a little bit further down the Katafu lady who you were introduced to the other day. Hishana's standing by a small sailboat waiting for you. Hey Hishan, what did you get to last night? I went home and had a pleasant evening with my family. Yeah, so do we. Yeah, that's what we Let's go. Too. Are you sure? You all look... Oh, I forgot to get dressed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is there a gun clinic on this island? <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to go as well, actually. Make an investigation check. <laughs> so roll your d20 and add your investigation modifier. Oh. Thanks. Um, 11, and then add what? Investigation. investigation. This ends with us uh, all getting chlamydia. 14. <laughs> 14. There are multiple clerics upon the island who might be able to help with this sort of thing. Hey, Shan, are you a cleric? No, I'm a fighter. It's fine. <laughs> oh, do you want to go put your clothes on? <laughs> yeah, all right. 
You stand around awkwardly for about ten minutes while Alistair goes back and gets his armor back on. Someone threw up in my hat. <laughs> yeah, sorry, bro. <laughs> Me and Gareth are not making eye contact at the moment. <laughs> no. When Alistair finally down. makes his way back, you board this small sailing vessel big enough for just about all of you and begin to set sail. You make your way across fairly rough waters. Can I get a constitution oh. saving throw from everyone? <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, that's fifth easy for me. Nine. Nine. Plus one. Plus you got a natural You got a critical oh. success. <laughs> what about, like, you feel actually really great. You don't know if it's the ocean air or... <laughs> or, or that. That does make you feel great. <laughs> but you feel fine. Anyone who got below a 13, the waves begin to turn your stomach. And as you set sail, after a few moments, the contents of your stomach release. Can I get dexterity saving throws as I hope... Hope you're aiming off the edge of the boat. Oh, God. <coughs> Critical fail. Ah. I certainly am not. <laughs> we aim at each other. <laughs> <laughs> like fireworks. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> it's it's staring at each other going... <laughs> 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 Making each other wretch just <laughs> from the look. Of <laughs> 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 and with that, the camera pans out as you hear the catwoman go... Oh, God, I just cleaned this. <laughs> That's where we're going to leave this hour off. I'm going to hand back over to our SM. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> when you get absolutely no story progress done, but wow, did you have a good time. Thanks for I didn't. For Got an itch. Hour. Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah go, go for it. Um, okay, it's a it's called Service, and it's a it's a live sitcom set in a hotel restaurant. Um, it's new writing, and it's really really clever and really really funny. And I did not write it, <laughs> <laughs> but it's really good. And if you don't enjoy it, I'll give you all money back. Like that's how comedy happens. Basically. Is it a free so fringe show? This is not shit. No, <laughs> it's it's um it's ten pounds, but it's ten pounds that is worth every penny. Where and when? It's really good. Um, it's. At ten to one every day except Sundays in the Jewelry Bin. Um, it's a, the space at Jewelry Bin. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I am in a show that's brilliant, and I did write it, and um, it's called Heartwood. It is a puppet musical, uh, and I play a badger, and it is on at twelve o'clock every single day. That's midday, not midnight, at venue thirteen. Come along, oh, guys. Cool. I've got two shows which you're going to love. <laughs> uh, the first one is called The Tinder Games, in which I try and find love for two very lonely comedians with my amazing uh, chatting up skills, which you've seen today. Um, the other one is better. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's at 2.30 at the newsroom. It's called How to Be a Winner, in which I have combined every single 90s game show into an hour where you uh, can win a trophy of my face. <laughs> Exciting. It's free, so <laughs> it's guaranteed enjoyment or your money back. <laughs> thank you, guys. Uh, thank you again for coming. Uh, we've now got a quick turnaround for our next hour, so keep up the good team. And thank you. Have a lovely day. Yay.